Hello, welcome to the Demonstrating Implementation Excellence stream of the SNOMO CT Expo 2023. My name is Kai Cooley. I'm the Technical Implementation Support Specialist at SNOMO International, and I'll be moderating today's session. All questions will be answered at the conclusion of the presentation. Online attendees, please use the Q&A button to type in your questions. Um, we've got a bit of an issue um, today with the, the AV setup. Um, you should be able to find the uh, slides online if you're joining us um, remotely and follow along. Um, but hopefully you can you can see something. Um, all right. With now, I'm pleased to introduce. Please forgive me in advance for the pronunciation. Um, uh, Ji Un Hong from Sung Ching Kwan, <laughs> thank you, University um, in South Korea. Who will be presenting considerations when performing SNOMO CT mapping. Um, Ji, please go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Hello, my name is Ji Eun Huang, as introduced Kai. Uh, first of all, I'm glad to the present at SNOMO CT Expo 2023, and I would like to express my gratitude to SNOMO CT International for giving the opportunity yeah, this, uh, this opportunity, as well as you guys being here to receive my presentation. Uh, actually, before I begin my presentation, there is one update to share. Uh, after I submitted the abstract, I complete my PhD course, and, yeah, and I'm currently working as a postdoc at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. And yeah. Great, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And let's return to the presentation. Now I will talking about the consideration when performing SNOMAS city mapping. Uh, this study was conducting with Professor Suyong Sin. And, and actually, although I could not permit, uh, uh, I, I could not obtain the, per, the permit to reveal as an author, the knowledge and the experience I gained during my time uh, in Professor Hyun Park and Dr. Campbell's lab uh, are also included, and it's really time to start the presentation. Yeah. Uh, as you know, SNOMST is the most comprehensive clinical terminology. Uh, various approaches are being explored for implementing SNOMST, spending from virus study, assessing its uh, effectiveness, to its integration into clinical practice. SNOMED CT is currently utilized in both clinical practice and the researcher, encompassing the broad, a broad spectrum of medical fields from individual diagnosis and the procedure at the medical center to entire electronic health record content. We would like to share that we have identified several crucial considerations when performing SNOMED CT mapping. Yeah, first, it is important to understand the, course, uh, the source term. Mm. Let me show you an example. Uh, we attempt to map the pathology report for colorectal cancer. And as you can see on the slide, the template included the contents historic grade. And we enter some keywords into the browser and found two candidates SNOMED CT concept. One is the yeah, historic grade of primary malignant neoplasm of CQM and or colon and or rectum. And the other is historic grade of primary malignant neoplasm, CQM and or colon and or rectum using the World Health Organization classification of tumor system fifth edition method. Uh, these two concepts have an easy relationship with each other, but and, and share the same attribute except for the technique attribute. Uh, in this case, to accurate map, the terminologies must know whether the contents follow the WHO classification tumor system fifth edition or not. Uh, if the meaning cannot be clarified, uh, the broad map or inaccurate map might be made.
Likewise, understanding the exact meaning of the source term is crucial. Therefore, when terminologists map clinical data with standard terminology, they should make every effort to comprehend the meaning. Uh, the second uh, factor is uh, especially important for mapping terms with combined meaning. Ideally, each term should have a single meaning. However, in practice, uh, terms often have multiple meaning, uh, and it causes it cause difficulty in synomatity mapping. I will show an example. Uh, in this scenario, the task involved mapping a patient diagnosis of anorexia and bulimia to Synomacity International Edition. There are two different ways to express disorder. First, use Synomacity concept, uh, anorexia nervosa and uh, bulimia nervosa for the diagnostic information. In the other words, using one to many pattern. Uh, through this approach, terminologists can express the diagnosis with concept which contain the same meaning with the source term. Uh, other option is to use the single synomacity concept known as one-to-one -one pattern, even though it conveys a broad meaning. Uh, actually, there is no correct answer. Uh, it depends on the use case or institution's directions. So therefore, before mapping clinical terminology to standard determine, uh, clinical terms to standard terminology, it is necessary to set certify for the map pattern when mapping terms with combined meaning. The third pack is related to snowmass city version for mapping. Mapping tasks can spend a wide time frame uh, from just a few days to several months or years, uh, contingent upon the project complexity. Uh, and as you know, it is essential to note that snowmass city is continuously evolving terminology. Consequently, in long term projects, there are multiple versions of Snowmass City may be released as this picture, and it leading to variance in mapping outcomes based on the version used. So I will show you an example also. Okay. An A institution was planning to pass a report for diagetes track, including stomach, esophagus, colorectal cancer, and others. And uh, they only permitted the one to one map pattern, and the period was from October 1st, 2022 to uh, February, February 28, 2023. Mm. Among these, the contents they needed to map um, for correct uh, stomach cancer response to preoperative. Chemo radiotherapy was included as shown you on the slide. Uh, however, terminologists could not find an appropriate concept for the contents if they tried between the October 2022 to January 2023. Uh, if terminology found the terms in February 2023, they could find the concept Mm, the Snowman City ID 12555960009. I can read the, the letter, so I'm sorry. That was included in Snowman International Edition version released on uh, January 31st, 2023. Uh, however, there are other factors to consider when using that concept such as the presence of inactive concepts that were used to map other contents. And to check this, reviewing all the contents that were used in the project could be difficult given the project timeframe. 
Thus, when mapping clinical contents with normal CT, it is necessary to control, manage, determine which version of normal CT to use. And the last factor I will discuss today is important when requesting the creation of concept. At times, uh, requests are made to create new concept within SNOMED City International Edition or local extension. I will also provide an example of institution B attempting to map the diagnosis, the diagnosis to SNOMED City. During the project, they attempt to map, they only permit the map pattern one to one, and the period was the, uh, October 1st, 2022 to uh, February 2, 28, 2023. And uh, they attempt to map uh, free biotis and uh, thrombobiotis, but could, uh, they could not find the uh, appropriate snowman city concept. So they request to creation of new concept to NRC, but it was rejected because they uh, the concept could uh, they could not provide a clear justification, so NRC uh, reject the request. And also interesting is that the concept with description by bites and thrombo three bites was deactivated due to its lack of the clarity in Sonoma City International Version. So if needed, uh, ask to creation of concepts that are on, on, big, on ambiguous, unique, correct, and up to date. Yeah, maybe actually I, I was worried uh, that I might speak too fast, <laughs> too quickly due to I'm nervous, but I think, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, this uh, the contents have discussed are fundamental, but is to overlook when mapping clinical content to SNOMED CT to ensure consistent and accurate mapping results. Please keep these four. Please keep these four factor in mind and refer to the mapping guideline provided by SNOMED CT International. And yeah, this is the last slide I prepared. Thank you for time and attention. Brilliant, thank you. Um, is there any questions in the room? If not, I've got one. Um, I'm curious to know um, what tooling you're using for mapping. Are you using Snap to SNOMED or something else? I, I know that the international provide the snap snap to snap to that that is the the tooling for automatic remapping and actually I try to and because it greatly interested me because the tool can provide terminologies control the map the mapping wizard version but however the last time I attempt to the tools. Uh, it took a lot of time to unload my file because I have a thousand million yeah, <laughs> yeah the rows. So yeah, I opt out it for that. I uh, assign my task, but maybe later I will give another uh, another try later. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, another question you talked about. Um, you know that there's no right answer when you're trying to map something that might be ambiguous or something in the local terms might have two um you know disorders or something you said there's two strategies you, you know you could do a one-to-many map mm -hmm. or you could do a one-to-one -one map at a higher level mm -hmm. can you say anything about um you know how you make that choice um you know what impact that might have like if you if you go higher you know what, what's the pros and cons of each solution? Um. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, oh, I...
on how to imply the uh, implementation. So I'm not sure, but uh, I usually prefer to one-to-one -one map the product because yeah. uh, it's still it's still difficult to uh, implement to the yeah. one-to-many map. Yeah, it's yeah. difficult to uh, for us. Yeah, you're right. You've got to you've got to think about who's using the map, haven't you, and how hard it's going to be to use. Yeah, yeah one to one is definitely easier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is is there any more questions in the room? No. I think your presentation must have been very clear, and uh, we all understand. Um, so it's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thanks, G.